Hello and welcome to the third year biology course as part of Kinross High's virtual school. I hope you're all well and safe and happy at home and coping okay with the current situation. We would just like to take this chance to welcome you to the biology department as biologists. Obviously you've been with us over the last couple of years working your way through the science curriculum and it's lovely to see so many of you selecting biology as one of your subjects for third year. So we just want to take the chance to welcome you to the department and talk you through what we're expecting and the sorts of tasks we're going to be setting out for you in the virtual school. So first a little bit of information about our course. We will be working our way through five units of work. The first one is Our Connected World, which is really looking at the environment, its interactions with individual organisms, how individual organisms interact with each other, and how we can survive with our environment sustainably. We will then move on to reproduction, DNA and inheritance, where we'll look at some different types of reproduction. We will look at passing on genetic information to individual offspring. We'll look at the impact that that has on individual offspring and how DNA really creates those characteristics that we see. We're going to move on to unit three then, which is response and survival. And this unit will be focused around how individual organisms survive in their environments, how they're adapted to that survival in that particular environment. And finally, how they may respond to any particular environmental changes. Unit four is all about growing plants. So looking at how and why we might want to go about doing that and the best ways of improving plant growth and why it's important. Finally, we will look at applying biology. So looking at more molecular biology techniques, how we can go around using what we have learned in order to create research opportunities for biologists, what it is that biologists are currently working on and those techniques that they might use to do that. Now, as far as the virtual school goes, what you can expect from us is that your teacher will be posting work on Google Classroom every week. Generally speaking, there will be three main tasks, a starter, a main lesson and some form of review lesson. Now, the specific format that these different tasks will take are going to vary from week to week, depending on what suits that style of lesson best. It might be that you're asked to go out and try and do a little experiment. It might be that you're asked to draw some kind of graph or complete a table. You might be asked to fill in some notes. It really depends on what suits the sort of lesson. You can expect to see for your starter task something that will only take you maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it will usually be some kind of review or some kind of introduction to the topic. The main lesson itself may feature a video much like this one, or you may be reading through some slides and taking down some notes from that. Again, that's going to be very dependent on what suits that particular topic best. Finally, you'll be asked to review your work. That might take the form of a quiz, some questions, and on a virtual Kahoot perhaps, anything that we think is going to suit. Now, as I said, this will be posted every week for you and you'd expect it to complete those tasks whenever you feel is best, whenever it works for you. You might find that it helps to follow your normal timetable just to help you manage your time. And it's worth knowing that we are not expecting these tasks to take you a full 55 minute period for each of them. In total, all three of them together should probably only take you around an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on what we're doing that week. So you might find it helpful to have a wee look at your timetable, figure out, okay, if you normally have biology first thing on a Tuesday morning, for example, you're maybe going to sit yourself down, maybe about quarter past nine, if you're up by then, on a Tuesday morning and do the starter task for that week. If you're then expected to be in biology again on a Thursday, you might then come in and try and do the main lesson around your biology time on Thursday. Or maybe it suits you just to pick some different um, topics, that pick some different subjects and sit down and do them for a little while every evening. It's entirely up to you, but do try and keep on top of the work that you are being given so you don't have too much to catch up on later on. 
Now the work here being set will be set on Google Classroom and I've just set up a little example here so you can see the sort of thing that we'll be looking for you to do. So as you can see this has been set up as an assignment, it's got a due date at the top and you can see that there's some instructions here that have been set by me so it explains what it is we're learning about, gives you your success criteria and describes the sort of tasks that it is you need to do. For this particular week there is a video so there's a link to that video there which if you click on will open up and you can watch through the video. Over here on this side you have got the little bits of work that it is you need to do so working your way through those. So the first one up here is your starter task and if you click on that as it opens up it will open up in Google Drive and you're then asked to complete some bits and pieces. So what we've tried to do is make it as simple as possible for you to edit so where there's a box like that all you need to do is click on into the box and you can start typing anything you like in here. And once you're happy and you feel like you've completed everything that you needed to do, you just close it down. That's all you need to do. And what you can then do is if you hit hand in, that will submit that work to your teacher and they will be able to see it. So similarly, that was for your starter task. We also have in here, we've got some notes for you to fill in and you'll probably see these in some form for each of your lessons. So again, all we're looking for you to do is try and complete the notes wherever you see those grey boxes, wherever you see those spaces or there's an instruction for you to do so. If it's easier, if you have a look over here, there's a little zoom in button. You can zoom in just to see a little bit more and then I can type straight into this box and fill in any of my answers that I need to. Now, I am using a laptop at the moment and your screen might look a little bit different if you are using an iPad or a phone instead. So if you are and you're not quite sure how this works, then please do just let us know and we'll see if we can put together some other information for you. But generally speaking, you should be able to open and edit these documents quite simply on your phone or on your iPad. So again, I'm just going to close that one down and if I wanted to submit it, I would just hit hand in here. If you want, you can leave a little private comment for your teacher. So you put a little comment under there, your teacher will be able to read it and we'll get back to you. Now, we all have currently different schedules. We're all working on different things and managing different things at home at the moment. So your teacher may take um, even a day or so to get back to you, but they will respond as quickly as possible. Just be aware that they have quite a lot of other things going on at the moment. So I hope that's been helpful third years. I look forward to working with you over the next few weeks and hopefully we'll get to see each other live and in person without too much more delay, fingers crossed, at least for August.